Stephen Kyle Kagini was accused of raping a 13-month-old baby and breaking her leg. He was a Calgary scout for the uh, Pennsylvania um, Army National Guard, was a police officer for the New York City, and you was 28 years old. Now, you too damn young to be this damn disruptive. You too young to be out here touching on children. Now, they did not say if the 13-month-old was his child or the woman's child, but she was covering up for him. So, back in April, he was taking this little baby a bath and things like that. 13 months, how are you going to let a man, while the mother was in there cooking dinner, and the five-year-old boy was knocking at the door and trying to see what was going on with his sister, Sister was in there hollering and crying while he was in there trying to take the baby a bath. Now, we don't know the relation. Uh, I'm believing that it probably was his daughter, his own daughter. But they say on social media that he has a set of twins. Colgini has a set of twins, uh, girls. And we don't know if they've been touched on or funneled with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they haven't released that yet. But he was accused of fundling touching on sodomizing a 13 month year old girl he blamed it on a fall then he blamed it on diaper rash and guess what he went as low as to blame it on the family dog the family dog did all that to the baby the baby showed up with a broken leg to the daycare the daycare reported it to the authorities the mammy Act like she didn't know what was going on until they went and um, looked at text messages. And she confronted Colgini about the bruises on the baby. She claimed she didn't know what was going on. She was corroborating the story until they searched her goddamn phone and figured out that she was well aware that this man was abusing her daughter. No charges have been brought against the mammy as of yet. We're still waiting to hear about that. But Colgini was stripped of all of his titles from working down at the um, New York Police Department and at the Army National Guard and all that that he does down there. And he has a $200,000 bail. Why he have a, why, why does this man have a bail? I don't, I, don't, I don't get the court. Sometimes I just don't get the court system. Imagine that baby is scared going to the daycare with a broken leg at 13 months and they knew something was happening. The daycare didn't want no responsibility of this shit. We report this shit immediately. Baby come up in here with a broken leg and bruises. We report this shit immediately. Found out the baby had been sexually assaulted by a 28 year old dysfunctional motherfucking uh, army veteran and police officer. Someone who's supposed to fight for the whole world and fight for the city and the state and the country. He's supposed to be a hero out here fondling and touching on 13 month year olds. This is so sad to me. On all, all everybody failed the baby. Everybody. And I, I'm so disappointed in the mammy. So the mammy says she knocked on the door after the baby, after she heard pounding and repeated screaming of her baby. Took him 10 seconds to open the door, but he had his pants on, but his shirt was wet. It, well, it took him 10 seconds to pull his pants up, baby. It only take one second to pull your pants up. Now, see, y'all done got me up here. Look, I ain't even had a chance to put no makeup on, and I'm turning into a man right before y'all eyes so I can go over here and kick Kugini in the ass. I supposed to be a trans woman, Lord. And ain't, y'all ain't gave me time to even prep my, Lord, I, I couldn't. I sat on this story because it's very sad and it's very unfortunate that these children are not being protected even by the mama and the daddies and, and the stepdaddies. And adults, adults are not really protecting these children, but yet they want to fuck every five minutes and have them. I don't get, I don't understand it. I'm trying to, I can't rationale with ignorance or, and, and, and retardation and all that old bullshit. I can't rationale with that shit because I, I, I tend to be in my right mind. But this is, it's heartbreaking, it's horrifying, it's a nightmare. It's, it's, it's all of the above. I know the five-year-old brother that was, he knew what was going on. He had an inkling because he was trying to get into the bathroom. They locked him out. Now, do y'all let y'all men or any man go in there and bathe y'all daughters with a locked door? And that's what we're doing right now. We're locking doors while men is bathing our daughters? Is that what we're really doing? Now, and my question to the mother is, why did you report this? You knew it was going on. You got the text message. You text messaged man, text messaged 
him and said, why is these bruises on my baby? You didn't, you didn't notify the authorities. You didn't know that your, your baby was going with a broken leg. Cause at one, at 13 months, the baby is walking. The, at 13 months, most babies are walking. You didn't notice that your baby had a broken leg. You say that you heard you stopped cooking dinner, went and opened, knocked on the door. You know why the man was bathing your baby. Your baby was in there screaming. You didn't report that your, that man was assaulting your child right then and there. You tried to cover up for him. His, his I know his his salad tossing wasn't that good, that good for you to cover up for him. Didn't protect your baby at all. Bitch, you supposed to be in there with a $200,000 $200, bill too. Sorry. This is so disgusting. This is disgusting. Disgusting and despicable and blamed it on the family's dog. Now, just imagine if we would have believed the dog did the shit and we would have had got them kill the dog. Instead of a motherfucker who was in there running amok over the city. This is so unfortunate and sad. People that we believe that took an oath to protect us is out here sodomizing our babies. This is so sad. I don't know. It's just sad. It's difficult to talk about because I get passionate about these stories. I get I get serious about these stories. I get ethnic about these stories, ignorant about these stories because the kids, the elderly, the mentally ill, the disabled, they don't y'all leave these people alone. Damn. Don't let this man up out of here to do this to somebody else's child, please. This is disgusting. Horrible. I can't think of enough words to to, to put in my brain. To describe how awful this is. It makes me itch. This is this that's how awful it is. I'm itching. Maybe my beard and my side burns and my goatees are growing, but I'm itching. But anyway, um, ever more news and things of that nature. Uh it just happened back in April night April 13th and stuff like that. Um oh geez, I, let me see that I miss nothing, child. I'm trying to think. So he's down there in Daphne County. You know what I'm saying? Down there in Daphne County being held. So if y'all know anything about this story, y'all go advocate and stuff like that on the, on the behalf of the child to keep this motherfucker locked up so he won't ever see the light of day and to sodomize and break somebody else's child league. I see you looking, Jack. Whatever more with Evermore News. Heartbreaking.